Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make this cute little cross stitch pillow. It's got a patriotic theme to it, but if you're not into cross stitch and you don't really want to do cross stitch, you can use patriotic fabric to make this same pillow. Now let's get started. Here is one of the books that I got some of the information out of. I really like this book. It's called Cross Stitch Alphabets to Stitch, and it's put together by Leisure Arts and Hirschners. You can get this book on Amazon.com, and the link will be below your YouTube screen. The alphabet to style that I decided to use is on page 15 in this book, and it is this letter style right here. Now you'll see they're using pink, green, and white in it. I chose to use all one color. So you really can select any color you want to do your letters. The next book, which I absolutely just love, and this is by Better Homes and Gardens, 2001 Cross Stitch Designs uh, to Use. And there is a huge variety of designs in here. Seasonal designs, holiday designs, athletic designs, patriotic designs. So the patriotic design that I'm using, I got off of page 181. Before I do any new cross stitch project, what I like to do is take the pattern to my photocopier printer and enlarge it. Because as I've gotten older, my eyesight is not as great and it's so much easier to read the little symbols in the design. So I enlarge it, make the copies, and then I'll take another piece of paper and lay it out how I want it to be. So here I have this design. Remember, this is on page 181 in the book. And it, here is the lettering. This is my last letter, E. And I first counted how many stitches across and how many stitches up. Remember, these dark lines represent every 10 rows and columns of stitches. So it's really easy to count this. 10, 20, 30, 40, and there's one sticking out here, 41. So 21 stitches from center is gonna be where you start, and that's right here. Now remember, you put a little mark in the center of your Ada cloth. If you're not sure how to do that, and you also need help with doing just a basic cross stitch pattern, look below your YouTube screen for cross stitch lessons one and two, and I go into deal, detail on that. Then I counted across how many stitches this way and which was my tallest letter. The W is the tallest letter. So this is 19 inches high, and this uh, flag star is counting from here up to here is 14 inches high. Then I added a space in between the word and the star flag. So you, this is how you would always go about doing it. So that way you know where to start, how to far up to go from center, and how far over from center you need to start. Once you get that all laid out, then I started with the star and I used all blue. I used just three colors in this design, red, white, and blue. And then after I did the blue, I did the red sections on both sides. Then I did the white sections after that. Then this is center here, and the center of C is actually right about here. I was off a little bit in my design, but you can't really tell. I should have started about two more columns over. So work from center out. So I did C-O-M-E first, and then I did L-E-W. And that way it's much easier to work from center than to count out all the way out. You might miscount, you'll get off, and everything is all wrong. So this is what my design looks like when it's all done. Once I was done, I took it off the embroidery hoop and then I trimmed it down to a nine inch square. Then do a zigzag stitch around all four edges. 
To assemble the pillow, you're going to need three more pieces of fabric. This is just some plain white fabric, but any light colored plain fabric is all you need. Also, a piece of cotton batting and then some fabric for the back. I chose to use this Patriotic Star fabric. If you want to know where to buy Patriotic fabrics, Joanne Fabrics and Crafts has it all year round. But right now in the spring is where you see a lot of new fabrics coming in. So you would cut these three pieces the same size that you cut your Ada cloth, which is nine inches square. I'm going to use rickrack on the pillow as an embellishment. Now it's just an option, you don't have to use it, but I'm using half inch wide rickrack in the color of red. You could use the navy blue if you want to. And it's made by Wrights. I bought it at Walmart. You can also buy it at Joanne Fabrics and Crafts and other fabric stores. Place two pieces of rickrack about a half inch away from your letters on each side. Then using matching thread, stitch down the center of the rickrack. Then place two more rickrack strips, one at the bottom along here and one up here. And again, stitch right down the center of the rickrack. When you're done, if you have anything sticking out on each end, then just go ahead and trim it off. Take your fabric for the back, and here's the back of the fabric. Put it back side down against your table. So you're looking at the pretty side of your fabric. Then take your Ada cloth, your cross stitch design. Here's the front of it right here. Place it on top. So you're bringing front sides together. Take your cotton batting and place it on top of the Ada cloth. Then take your plain fabric and place it on top of that. Then go ahead and pin it around all four sides. And then you want to indicate an opening large enough so you can turn this pillow front side out. So you would start here, back stitch, always on each side of your opening, and then stitch down to the corner, and you're doing a one quarter inch seam. Then stitch down all four sides. And then stop here and back stitch. Now if you're new to sewing, Whenever you come to a corner, leave your needle down through the fabric, lift up your presser foot, and then turn your fabric and continue stitching. stitching. This way, you do not lose your place. Before you turn it front side out, it's a really good idea to trim some of the excess fabric off your corners so that they lay a little nicer. So first, I just go across at a diagonal to it and cut it like that, and then take a little bit off each side at the corner, and then go over onto the other side and do the same thing. So again, do this at all four corners. Before turning it front side out, I like to fold the edges back at the opening and give it a good pressing on both sides, because when you go to close the opening up later, it's gonna be much easier. Then after you've done that, go ahead and reach in between the opening and go ahead and turn it front side out. Now take your time, don't pull on your stitches too hard at the opening because you don't want your pillow to come apart. Now you're gonna go through the opening and insert your polyfill stuffing. You wanna break it up into small little pieces and fill your corners in first and then fill the rest of the pillow in. Then you're going to close your opening. I recommend you use a ladder stitch to close it up. It's not a difficult stitch to do, but I do have a video link that goes into great detail on how to do the ladder stitch. It's a hidden stitch and you can't see it. Well, here it is. It's all done. I think I'm going to put this on the entry table near my front door. So on 4th of July, it's there to welcome everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this cross stitch project. If you're new to cross stitch and you're not quite sure how to do all of these stitches, then check below your YouTube screen for the video links to cross stitch lessons one and two. And other cross stitch projects will also be listed. 
Also, don't forget the ladder stitch is listed below too. Now make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to click on the bell. I'm Cheryl and this is a lot of manis. See you next time and happy sewing.